everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Julie so last week guys I made this off shoulder crop top so this week I made a short pairing with the crop top that I made from last week so I came up with this design so the size of this short is size small and the length is 11 inches by 16 inches I use half double crochet and double crochet stitch so it's more wearable for outside so guys, if you are new here to my channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys, let's start! So for this project, I'm gonna use Alice Cotton Gold in color 02, tape measure, cutter, and for my hook, I'm gonna use 3mm crochet hook. So we're going to begin by measuring our hips. My hips is 35 inches, but I'm only gonna chain 33 inches. So 33 inches is equivalent to 174 chain plus 1. So 174 plus 1, that's going to be my foundation chain. So for a size small, for 35 inches, if you want to follow the 35 inches, you need to chain 186. For size medium, which is 37 inches hips, you have to chain 198 chains. For size large, which is hips with 41 inches, you need to chain 222. And for XL with the hips of 46 inches, you need to chain 252. So after you have your foundation chain, you have to release your hook from the last chain. And make sure that your chain is not twisted. Put your hook on the first stitch and grab the other side and pull through and then chain one like so so now we're going to make half double crochet so put half double crochet on the very first stitch And also half double crochet on the following stitches all around. So you need to make nine rows of half double crochet guys. So go ahead and finish nine rows of half double crochet. So this is what I have guys after 9 rows of half double crochet. So as you can see here I put the stitch marker. This is where I'm starting and on the other side I have stitch marker again because that's the middle. So if you do it like this, this is the front and this is the back. So now I'm going to remove the stitch marker and I'm going to make 38 half double crochet. So chain one, half double crochet on the very first stitch. So that's one. And make another 37 half double crochet. So after I have 38 half double crochet, on the 39th stitch, I'm gonna make one double crochet. Like this. Skip two stitches. On the third stitch, we're going to put three double crochet. One. Two. Three. Chain two and three double crochet on the same stitch one two three skip two stitches one two on the third stitch put one double crochet so it's like this guys so now again we're going to skip two stitches 
one two on the third stitch we're going to put three double crochet chain two and three double crochet skip two stitches on the third stitch put one double crochet again skip two stitches one two on the third stitch put three double crochet chain two and three double crochet one two three chain two again the same stitch Three double crochet one two three skip two stitches three double crochet I mean one double crochet on the third stitch so again skip two stitches one two on the third stitch put three double crochet chain two and three double crochet Skip two, one, two on the third stitch, put double crochet. So this is what we have guys, we have one, two, three, four. So now guys we're gonna keep going and make half double crochet. So this is what we have so far guys, the two stitch marker is the front and at the back. So this is the middle. And as you can see the design is not exactly on the side like it's not even because I want more coverage behind so in here after the last one double crochet I made 47 half double crochet and on the 48 stitch we're going to start our design so on the 48 we're going to make one double crochet skip two stitches on the third stitch we're going to put three double crochet chain two and three double crochet So skip two stitches on the third stitch, put one double crochet. And again, skip two stitches on the third stitch, put three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. Skip two, one, two on the third stitch, one double crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two on the third stitch, put three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. Chain two and again three double crochet on the same stitch. So we have one, two, three. We need one more. Skip two stitches, one double crochet on the third stitch. Skip two stitches on the third stitch. We're going to put three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet.
skip 2 stitches, on the third stitch put 1 double crochet. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And now on the following stitches all the way to the last stitch, we're gonna put half double crochet. So to finish this row, we're just going to make a slip stitch, chain 1, and on the very first stitch we're going to put half double crochet. You can put again your stitch marker if you want. And also half double crochet on the following stitches. So basically guys, we're just repeating the process from the previous row. So after I've done my half double crochet, now guys we're going to start the design again. So we have double crochet here, so we're gonna make one double crochet again. Like so. And three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet on chain two space. So one, two, three, chain two, 3 double crochet on the same chain 2 space. Like so. We're gonna put double crochet on the double crochet stitch which is here. So we're gonna skip this 3 double crochet. And again 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet inside the chain 2 space. Skip this 3 double crochet and put 1 double crochet on top of this double crochet stitch. And now again, chain 2 space, we're gonna put 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. Skip this 3 double crochet and put 1 double crochet on top of this double crochet. We are now on the last um, fan stitch or shell stitch. So skip this 3 double crochet. Inside the chain 2 space we're gonna put 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. chain 2 and 3 double crochet and skip this 3 double crochet and put 1 double crochet on top of this double crochet stitch 
So now we're gonna go back on half double crochet on the following stitches. So this is what we have guys, so on the other side that's what you're gonna do also, you're gonna do the same, so on, on top of this half double crochet we're gonna put half double crochet, on top of this double crochet stitch you're gonna put one double crochet, so again the design you're gonna repeat it here all the way until you finish this row. So I'm gonna come back to you guys after I completed the rows that I need for the short. And then I will meet you to start with the legs and the crutch area. So I have here guys 13 rows and this is gonna be the front and this is gonna be the back. You probably notice guys that they're not even. This is a little bit longer than the back and the front. So don't worry. And on my last row I cut my yarn. So let's talk about the front first. So in here I have my Two stitch marker so now I'm gonna remove my stitch marker so I connect it where the double crochet stitch so both sides so now to make this even we need to make four rows of half double crochet so put it back as opposed to get the other side this one here so remove that one Connect your hook and your yarn and make a slip stitch. We're not gonna chain one since this stitch is longer, so we're gonna move on to the next stitch and make half double crochet. And also half double crochet on the following stitches. So we're just gonna make half double crochet row guys and then I will show you guys what to do before we reach the stitch marker. So I'm now guys where the stitch marker is so we're gonna remove it and make a slip stitch. And to move on to the next stitch we're gonna make a slip stitch again, turn our work. chain one, make half double crochet on the very first stitch, like so, and then half double crochet on the following stitches again. So in here we're gonna just make a slip stitch and also slip stitch on the next stitch. Turn our work, chain one, put half double crochet on the very first stitch, and also half double crochet on the following stitches again.
So this is what we have guys. As you can see, they're even now. And now you're gonna start working at the back. And then I will meet you for the next step. So after we finish both sides guys, this is what we have. So now you're gonna put your stitch marker on the middle. So find the middle both sides. And then we're gonna chain 20. So remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now we're going to connect it on the other side. So remove your stitch marker. And make a slip stitch. So it's like this. So now guys, we're gonna start working on the leg, leg hole. So now we're going to chain one, turn our work. So we're only gonna work on one leg hole first. So on this first stitch here, we're going to put half double crochet. And also half double crochet on the following stitches. So you're just gonna put half double crochet in here guys. And then we're gonna start making design again So we are now here guys for the design so we're gonna start it by putting half double crochet and then double crochet on the next stitch which is here and then three double crochet chain two and three double crochet Chain two, three double crochet, put double crochet on top of this double crochet stitch, and again on the chain two space, put three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. So now here on the first stitch, we're going to put double crochet and also we're going to tuck in this yarn that's hanging and then half double crochet on the following stitches.
so you just keep making half double crochet guys and I'll meet you before the crotch area so I'm now in the middle guys so we're gonna put half double crochet on the last stitch like so and then in here as you can see the stitch there we're gonna put half double crochet each stitches all the way to the other side So that's our first stitch. So we just make half double crochet each stitches. So in here guys we're just gonna make a slip stitch like so and then chain one to move on to the next stitch to start our new row so this is gonna be our second row So again guys on the half double crochet stitch you're gonna put half double crochet and then on top of this design you're gonna put the design also so this is what we have guys so from here onwards you're just gonna keep making rows until you get the right length that you need for the short and I will come back to you also to show you what I've done and then I will show you how to connect your yarn to start on this side so this is what I have guys after 9 rows. So in here I have 8 rows of half double crochet. And then the last row which is my edges I just made the design like this. So now we're going to connect our yarn to do the other leg hole. So we're gonna put it on the middle. And make a slip stitch. And on the same stitch, we're gonna make half double crochet. And also half double crochet each stitches. So again guys, we're just gonna follow the stitches and then when we reach the design um, on the side where the design is, we're gonna do design also. So go ahead guys and complete the other leg hole that you have and then we're going to start working on the waistband to connect it and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So for the waistband, I want my waistband a little bit thicker so I'm going to chain 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the 16 stitch we're gonna skip. We're gonna work on on the 15 stitch. So we're gonna put single crochet. So single crochet like that. And also single crochet each stitches all the way to the end. So after the last stitch, we're going to chain one, turn our work, 
So we're only working on the back stitch. So this is the front stitch, that's the back stitch. So we're gonna start ribbing. So put your hook in, pull through. You have two loops on your hook, pull through two. So again, put your hook in, pull through. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So we're gonna keep going. So again guys, we're only working on the last, I mean on the back stitch. So now to start another row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and again we're only working on the back stitch. So you're just gonna keep going, guys, until you get the right length, and make sure you stretch it, and that will fit. It should be fit on your waist and your hips. So as you can see guys, it's starting to have a rib effect. So now you're gonna keep going guys and then I will meet you for the next step. Now we're gonna connect them, both sides. So put your hook on the first stitch. And make a slip stitch so we're gonna put our hook back in on the first stitch again to make sure that it's secure and make a slip stitch again so we're only using a slip stitch to connect these two to connect both sides so on the last stitch we're gonna chain one after and then we're going to connect it on the body of our short. So this is what we have. So to connect our waistband into our short, we need to flip inside out our short like this. So after you flip your short inside out and also the waistband, put it inside the short like this. Try to stretch it so we know roughly where the middle is. And then we're going to make a slip stitch or single crochet just to hold it in place. Okay, like that. So your your yarn, just put it there. We're gonna use it as a marker. So now we're going to stretch it. Let's make sure it's in place. Like so. So now on the side, we're gonna hold it like that. Grab your yarn. Okay. 
Okay, that's fine. So now we're gonna do it on the other side. So stretch it again, hold it in place. So now we're gonna do the front. So like that guys, slowly, slowly. So all the four corners are connected. So now we can start connecting it properly. So in here, so every stitch, so chain one, to put it in place. So one single crochet. So as you can see guys, they're not flat. So we slowly, slowly adjust our stitches according to the waistband. So in here, we're gonna move on to the next stitch and go back on the same stitch where we put our first stitch. So in here, and single crochet again. So two in here where the body of the short and one for the one stitch for the waistband. So to finish this guys, we're just gonna make a chain one and cut it. So this is what we have. So this is what we have guys. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!